thing is about to get intense. What is up my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction and today is kind of bittersweet because this is our last and final huge attempt to pull every single card from Hidden Fates. How is it going everybody? If you're new here to the channel, my name's Real Breaking Nate and over the past few months, well since 2019, I have been trying to get one of every single card from Hidden Fates. I've been opening up booster packs after booster packs after booster packs. Last time I checked, I was at around 800 Hidden Fates booster packs. As of right now, I've totally lost count. So since day one, I have tasked myself with what seemed like the impossible. I had the brilliant idea that I said I was going to pull every single card from Hidden Fates. That's right, pull every single card from Hidden Fates. As of right now, our total of Hidden Fates booster packs is probably closer to a thousand Hidden Fates booster packs, and we are still missing nine cards total. And don't get me wrong, we are not giving up on trying to pull every single card. So today we have a huge, huge Hidden Fates Pokemon card opening for you. We have six Hidden Fates tens, a box collection, and a pin collection at the very, very top, and I can't wait any longer. Breaking family, let's go ahead and get started. But first, what I need from all of you is to let me know in the comment section down below, have you completed the Hidden Fates set yet? If you haven't, what cards are you missing? And do you think we are going to complete the Hidden Fates set in today's Pokemon opening? Let me know right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Hidden Fates binder right back here, the Pokemon card binder of the Pokeball and give you a quick look at everything inside of this binder. Just a quick flip through because at the very end of today's video, we will take a look at everything. So you can see it is pretty complete, so close. Only nine cards, and I'm gonna show you the nine cards we are still trying to look for. That way, throughout this video, you know what we are looking for right here. So, nine cards left. We need a shiny Greninja, a shiny Electrode, uh, obviously GX for both of those. We need the Foundation Employee, we need Hiker, we need Lady, we need uh, Brooklet Hill. Tapu Bulu, Tapu Coco, and Tapu Lele. Those are all the nine cards that we are going to be looking for in today's Hidden Fates opening. So let's go ahead and get started. Breaking family, go ahead and hit that like button. Give us some good luck for today's Pokemon opening. We are going to need it because we need nine cards. We have about, I don't know how many booster packs right there. I think it's at least a booster box worth. We're gonna need all the luck we can get, so please thumbs up this video. Let's try to get it to at least 2,000 likes. All right, here is all three of the booster packs. We have the pin, which is the Mew pin right there. And to be honest with you, I actually still have a lot of hidden fates. Um, I have elite trainer boxes sealed. I have pin collections sealed. I have everything, literally everything still sealed. A little bit of every single uh, product. So like I said, the hidden fates openings will not stop. Um, we are just trying to make sure that, uh, we, we pull one of every single card, obviously is what we're trying to do. Um, but we're just not going to be doing a huge opening again. Maybe, maybe later down the road, we might do another huge opening for nostalgic vibes, but, but, uh, as far as huge openings, uh, coming in the near future, it is definitely not happening, but we'll sprinkle some tins and pin collections here and there. Swablu, there we go, already starting off with a shiny Pokemon. Swablu and the birds, gotta start off with the birds. They have to, I guess, troll me, uh, apparently. Here's the code card right there. I'm gonna show you the code cards in every single booster pack, so get ready for that if you enjoy code cards. If you're new here to the channel, just letting you know, I always show the code cards. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button while you're at it, if you're new here. Become part of the Breaking Family, a nice positive environment that we have here on YouTube, a nice Pokemon community. A judgment-free zone, we don't judge anybody here. Everybody is welcome here in the Breaking Family. And we do uh, new, new Pokemon stuff, we do nostalgic vintage Pokemon stuff here on the channel, we do every single thing right here on the channel. Yes, you can see the mixture of vintage and new things in my background. Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world, energy. Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap. Mountain, we, did we need that? Oh, no, we didn't need it, but hey, Secret Rare, Secret Rare Mountain. I will take a Secret Rare Mountain and a Clefable. I had to look over at my list real fast, but it's already crossed off. Secret Rare Mountain, though, I will definitely, definitely take that. 
can't complain with a secret rare card pull, can you? Look at this. This pin collection has been really on fire so far. Two booster packs, and this is what we have pulled so far, right? That is that is awesome. Let's see. Can we go three for three? Three for three with this Mew pin collection. Whew, that would be awesome, right? That would probably be like the best pin collection ever. All right, here we go. We have an Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, <coughs> Storyu, Ekans, Energy, Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Misty's Gem, Bill's Analysis, and a Lapras. So unfortunately, not all three booster packs had a crazy, crazy good cards, but still two out of three is pretty amazing. Now, obviously we do already have the Shiny Charizard GX. Not only do we have one, but we have three. I have them all sitting right here. Three Shiny Charizard GXs. I think we're trying to go for the world record, apparently. But there they are. There is a chance that we could pull another one in today's video. I would be super surprised if we did, honestly. If we got a fourth Shiny Charizard. We've pulled every single one of them, but for some reason, we can't pull a Shiny Greninja. That seems to be impossible, but we're going to try to do it today. At least... Come on, at least one card. We need to at least uh, get one card off the list, right? Shiny Greninja, which a lot of people have said that they've pulled a bunch of those, but I cannot pull one. Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Energy, Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Hey, there we go. Shiny GX, Ultra Beast Goodness, and a Hollow Rare Zapdos. The shiny Pokemon are coming out to have a good time and join the VIP section. And I am out of sleeves, but luckily I came prepared. A fresh, fresh package of sleeves right here from the Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer Box. Here we go, sleeve that up. Whoop. Right up here in the VIP section, the Ultra Beast goodness. So I even asked the Breaking Family on my Discord channel uh, which it's, there's a link down in the video description down below. I asked them if they knew how many booster packs I've opened up of Hidden Fates, and nobody, nobody knew. Everybody's lost count at this point. I've opened up so many. Caterpie, Charmander, like I said, it's around a thousand at this point. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Reverse Hello Koga's Trap, and a Mr. Mime. Another code card for all of you. We got Sword and Shield openings coming up here very, very soon here on the channel. I thought since, you know, we're starting a new generation, Sword and Shield, uh, complete new generation of Pokemon, I figured we would do one last Hidden Fates opening, give it a nice good send-off, um, and hopefully try to complete the set. But like I said, that doesn't mean we're done with Hidden Fates openings. We'll still do, uh, you know, ones here and there in the future, so don't worry for all you Hidden Fates fans. Farfetch'd, Mr. Mime, and a Mew. There's the code card for that one. All right, so that tin wasn't too bad. We had one shiny GX in it, but we still have one booster pack left. And there is going to be a huge, huge mess on the floor for me to clean up after today's opening. Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie with those sad, sad doggy in the window eyes. Ekans, Paris, just moved into the neighborhood, saying hi, wave back to Paris. Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Metapod Pod, Pokemon Center Lady, Reverse Hello, Pokemon Center Lady, and... A Zapdos Hollow Rare, which is our second one that we have pulled, right? Yep, second one right there. And the code card for that one. Okay, let's go ahead and go into another 10. So I got to say, out of all of the Hidden Face items, I, I would have to say the Elite Trainer Box is probably the most difficult one to come by, and it's probably the most valuable one, honestly. Um, I have not really seen any restocks of the Hidden Face Elite Trainer Boxes. But um, I've seen plenty of restocks on the 10s, just like we all have. We've all seen plenty of those. Did I show you that code card? I totally probably forgot. There it is. Okay, I'm going to get that lid back on super fast. Set that over there. Let's open up these booster packs. We are in our, what, second 10. We've opened up a pin collection already. We've gotten one, two shinies, and a secret rare. And the birds. Yes, I didn't forget the birds. Don't worry. The birds are there, too. We can't have a hidden face opening without... The birds. Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psy, Energy, Charmeleon, Misty's Determination. Just like Misty, I am determined. Hey, there we go. Shiny Altaria, GX, Breaking Family. It's and a Charizard GX. It has been a great 
Pokemon opening today. If you have not hit that thumbs up button yet, I don't know what you're waiting for because the pulls are absolute fire right now. Fire. They're fire. Charizard. Fire. Okay. I know. My, my jokes are corny. There we go. I'll put all that right there. Let's get into the next booster pack. Put that right over there. Ever so gentle. Okay. Come on. Come on. Give us a shiny Greninja. Or one of the shiny Tapus. I can't believe I've only pulled one shiny Tapu so far. Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. If you want to dispute that with me, you can do so in the comments down below. You won't change my mind. Farfetch'd, Arbok, and another Arbok. Team Rocket coming in strong in that booster pack. Shiny Mewtwo. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you do enjoy Hidden Face openings, I've done a lot here on this channel. I promise I've not just been opening up Hidden Fates. It's, uh, it's been scattered, you know, all throughout a bunch of the openings since it was released last year. Um, but we have done a bunch of them. Uh, and if you are wanting to watch from the very beginning, from day one of Hidden Fates being released, I have an entire playlist with every single Hidden Fates booster pack I have ever opened. It is right here on this channel. So... Go and check that out. You can watch the entire thing. You honestly probably couldn't even watch that entire playlist in a day. It's that long. Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Energy, Scyther, Charmeleon, Metapod Pod with that Pikapet coming in strong, Reverse Hello Mew, and a Hollow Rare Eevee. Beautiful artwork. Love the Pokemon in the background of that one. All right. So what are we getting that? We got two, two good, oh, two good pulls. Not bad, not bad, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, okay, here, let's go into our next 10. These are all Charizard 10s, by the way, obviously, if you couldn't tell. There's the code card for that one. One, two, three, four. Put that back on, and that right over there. Okay, Charizard, I think we have one of every pack artwork, right? Yeah, we'll start off with shiny Charizard. And what if there's a shiny Charizard inside? I don't know what I would do at this point. Four shiny Charizards. What what do you even do at this point? And I know I have some breaking family member out there. And I, my apologies because I can't remember what your username is. But every single time I upload any video, not even just a hidden face video, but any video, um, this person always tells me to get my shiny Charizards graded. Uh, oh, hey, shiny Lycanroc GX. Um... And this breaking family member said that uh, they were going to keep telling me in every single video until I finally do it. And I think I'm going to have to at some point because uh, this breaking family member has definitely been keeping keeping uh, the word strong. Because every video I've uploaded, uh, they have said it. <laughs> They're sticking to it. So I think I'm going to have to get those shiny Charizards graded. Paris, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Should I get those graded? Cubone, Voltorb, Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Chameleon, Misty Deter De Determination, <laughs> stumbled over my words there, Shiny Guzzlord, and a Hollow Rare Vaporeon. And yes, I'm leaving me stumbling over my words in the video. You can laugh at me, that's fine. I don't care. I've been laughed at plenty of times. I don't think I care at this point. Um, and, and the reason why I haven't gotten those Shiny Charizards graded yet is just I'm not... I'm not a huge PSA person uh, of getting cards graded. Um, it's just kind of like not my thing. Uh, I am trying to get one of every single Psyduck card PSA 10 because I don't know. Why not? Um, but as far as like getting valuable cards graded, it's just kind of like not my thing. So, um, I, that's, oh, hey, Buzzwall GX. Nice. And a Lapras. So, um. That's why I haven't. I know if I, I, in terms of investing or uh, wanting to resell them later, I probably definitely should. But value is n not really the first thing on my mind when I open up Pokemon cards. Uh, obviously, you can see the first thing on my mind is either trying to complete a set or trying to pull a Psyduck. Um, but there's no wrong way to collect. Uh, I always say that here on the channel. If you want to collect based off of value, that's perfectly okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, go for it. You get to collect however you want. That's the great thing about Pokemon. It's your money. You get to collect however you want. Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap. Hey, wait, 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 Conservationary. Did we need that one? Oh, no, we didn't need that one. But hey, a second secret rare, uh, Conservation Area. 
And another birds. That was a double hit inside of that booster pack. There's the code card right there. Let's go ahead and sleeve them up. I got so excited because I, well, I'm, I am excited, don't get me wrong, but I got so excited because I thought we needed this one, but it's the foundation employee that we need. So, whew, oh, it's getting me, uh, getting me all hyped here. Okay, look at I me, mean, look at all these pulls so far. These have not been bad pulls at all. Even as doubles, this is phenomenal, Breaking Family. Absolutely phenomenal. So we are going to keep going with another Charizard 10 right here. We still have two more 10s over here uh, and an entire Great Ball collection. But going back into there's no wrong way to collect. I've always said that here on the channel. If you want to based off of, uh, collect based off of your favorite Pokemon, off of the most valuable card, trying to get one of every card, artwork, however you want to do it, there's no wrong way. And I will always, always say that. There is absolutely no wrong way. I mean, I honestly, I I just like having a good time and opening up Pokemon cards and collecting Pokemon in general. But I also do find values interesting. Uh, so don't get me wrong about that. I definitely find them interesting. Magikarp, and I do stay up to date on them because I think it's, uh, it's wise and smart to kind of know everything uh, or try to know a little bit of everything, right? Brock's Grit, Scyther, Electrode, and a Bill's Analysis. And the code card. Okay. I think after these three booster packs, I think we're going to go ahead and open up that Great Ball collection and then go back into the tins. All right, come on. Let's get a card that we need. Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, coughing. <sighs> Energy. That almost legit made me cough. Charmeleon, Jinx, Shiny Froakie, Bouncing in Strong, and a Kangaskhan for the rare and that one, the code card for that. Let's go ahead and sleeve up that shiny Froakie. There we go. We haven't pulled many non-shiny GX Pokemon. One, two, three. Usually the count on that's pretty high. I'll actually kind of go ahead and fan that out because it looks, it looks more beautiful that way. All right, next up, what do we got? There's a code card. I'm just going to put that right over there, by the way. Okay. Shiny, shiny, or a Tapu. I'll take a gold Tapu. Caterpie, Pyrrhus, Charmander, Energy, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, Ekans, and our third Hollow Rare Zapdos. Any card, any card that we need. Come on, that's all I'm asking for. Just one card that we need. It can be a shiny, it can be a, a gold Tapu, it can be a Foundation employee, Psyduck, Star you, Clefairy, Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod Pod, Misty's Gem, Reverse Hello Lapras, and a Mewtwo GX. There we go. There's a code card for that one. Let me sleeve this up. Whoop. Nice, right up there in the VIP section. All right, let's go ahead and open up this great ball collection. There's a lot of packaging to it, so I'm gonna open this up. And as I'm opening this up, I just wanna let every single one of you know, if nobody has told you today, let me be the first to tell you that you are loved and that you matter in this world. And I mean that. I know some of you may think, oh, that's cheesy to say. It's not cheesy to say because a lot of people need to hear that because a lot of people don't get to hear that. Actually, I don't wanna be the first person to tell you today. I really hope I'm not, but if I am, I'm honored to be the first person to tell you. If you have not been told, you are loved and you matter in this world. Everybody should hear that, not even just once a day, but multiple times a day. Everybody is important and everybody matters in this world. Zorark GX and a code card. Like I said, I'm honored if I'm the first person to tell you, but I really don't want to be the first person because I want you to be hearing that multiple times throughout the day. But if you haven't heard, then I'm telling you. And then there you go. Then you've heard it, right? Here is the great ball that comes inside of it. You're a nice positive channel. We like positive vibes on here. We like feeling good, right? We got 10 booster packs. There we go. There's all those booster packs. The excitement, the hype is real. I'm breaking a sweat, legit. I am breaking a sweat, opening up Pokemon cards. I don't know if you can see it, but I am legit breaking a sweat right now because I'm so hyped, trying to complete this set. It's been a long, long journey breaking family, but we're trying to make it happen. All right, set that over there. 
Great Ball Collection, which we have pulled a shiny Charizard out of one of these before. I think it was the Metagross one, though. Staryu, Jigglypuff, it's sticking to the card. Ekans, Energy, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Pikachu, and another bird. We have one for every single bird at this point. There we go, there's the code card. I don't know why we've been pulling so many birds, and they're all the exact same version. No full arts, no hyper rares, just all regular art version. Okay, going into the next one, we got 10 booster packs inside of this Hidden Fates box right here. This is a good, good last huge opening. Really, there's no better way to do it for a, a last huge opening for Hidden Fates. Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Barak's Gem, Koga's Trap, Energy, and a Misty's Water Command. There's the code card right there. If you have not heard, uh, earlier this week I announced my very first appearance for 2020. Uh, it will be taking place February, I want to try to get this right, February 28th, February 29th, and March 1st in Richmond, Virginia for GalaxyCon. So if you are in the area or if you're flying to the area or driving to the area or taking a rowboat, I don't know what you're taking. I don't know what form of transportation you're taking. Oh, nice! Espeon GX and a Gollum. Whoo, nice! That is a beautiful, beautiful card. That's only the second time I've ever pulled a shiny Espeon GX. Sorry I interrupted myself there, but I will be a special guest at GalaxyCon in Richmond, Virginia, February 28th through March 1st. I'll be there every single day. I'll be hosting panels. I'll be doing uh, fan meetups. I'll be moderating celebrity Q and A, so you can come and watch me interview celebrities on stage for about 45 minutes and try to keep my cool and my composure. Jigglypuff. Uh, so that's always very entertaining. But I I enjoy doing these appear these appearances because I get to meet the Breaking family. That's my most favorite part. So hopefully you are free to come out that weekend to GalaxyCon in Richmond, Virginia, February 28th through March 1st going to be a great, great time. So I'll see you there in GalaxyCon, uh, at GalaxyCon in Richmond, Virginia. All right, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Energy, Scyther, Jinx, Graveler, Alolan Ninetales GX. There is something about pulling the absolute beautiful and gorgeous shiny Pokemon cards today. I mean, really think about that. Look at all of our shiny Pokemon card pulls. We pulled some gorgeous, gorgeous Pokemon so far. I mean, look at this. Alolan Ninetales, Espeon, Zor... I mean, well, we didn't pull Zorark. Buzzwall, Lycanroc. I mean, look at that. Altaria, beautiful, beautiful. Swablu, it's been a good day. It's been a good day for some shiny Pokemon card pulls. Still haven't pulled one that we need, though, unfortunately. But that's all right. I'm very appreciative of what I have pulled. Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Energy. We should do it like the Poke Wrap. Lieutenant Surge's strategy, and we might try to do that with the next booster pack. And a Pinsir GX. Yeah, we'll use a sleeve on the Pinsir GX. Why not, right? There we go. Okay, this one, I'm going to try to do it to like the Poke Wrap. And we'll see how well that goes. Try not to laugh at me too much, please. I'm begging you. Here we go. <clears throat> Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, Bill's Analysis, Mr. Mime. That was absolutely horrible. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about doing that. We should probably never do that again. Let's pretend that never happened. Don't, don't talk about that. Don't comment about it in the comment section either, okay? Let's just pretend that last section of the video never happened and I've never done it here on this channel. So don't comment about it. Never happened, I don't know what you're talking about. Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, Energy, and a Golem. Code card, once again, two booster packs left. And then we have two more tens. I honestly thought we were gonna pull one card by now that we needed. One card. We need nine. Nine left. You figured one, right? One out of those nine we would have gotten. Charmander, Energy, 
Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Misty's Gem, Reshiram GX. A beautiful card. Bill's Analysis. I told you. It's something about the beautiful, shiny Pokemon today. Sleeve that up. Whoop. Nice. Last booster pack from this box right here. Come on. I'll take, let me see here, a hiker. Just a hiker. How about a hiker? That's nothing crazy, right? It's not super valuable. It's just a hiker. That's all I'm asking for. Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Energy. I wasn't singing anything, I promise. Metapod, Magmar, Misty's Gem, Golem, and another Golem. And there's the code card. We have two final tens for this huge, our last huge, Hidden Fates opening. Let's do it. All right, fixing up my area right here for these last two tens. Let's make it happen. Breaking family, I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling positive. I mean, I felt positive through this entire video, but I'm feeling good about these last two tens. I really feel like we're gonna get a couple cards that we needed. I really do. I'm being honest with you. I really feel like we are gonna get at least one or two in these last eight Hidden Fates booster packs. Uh, maybe a gold tapu. I don't know. Maybe the hiker that we were talking about earlier. Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Metapod, Zygarde, GX. I'll take it, Breaking Family, and a Clefable. There's the code card for that one. Let's go ahead and sleeve up the Zygarde GX. We legit have pulled a lot of shiny Pokemon today. I'm not lying at all. I mean, that is a lot for, I think, 37 booster packs total. That's a lot of shiny Pokemon and a lot of ultra rares in general to pull. Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Energy, Misty's Gem, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Energy, and a Mr. Mime. Ooh, that Mr. Mime. Code card. We got the birds. All right, birds, let's do this. Let's just, how about we just go straight to it? Not even do the card trick, just go straight to it. We got, oh, Eevee, I'll take an Eevee. Adorable, adorable Eevee. All right, that was all of that for that one. I don't know why I wanted to not do the card trick on that one. Let's not do the card trick on this one either. No, why not? Why, why? We got, hey, shiny Malamar. And a Snorlax, which is a total vibe for me. Total, total vibe. And the code card. We got to sleeve up that shiny Malamar. Obviously, you do see the current values in the bottom corner of the screen. You've been seeing that this entire video. I always like to include that for anybody who is interested. Those are the values as of this recording. Now, they, these values could go up. They could go down. The, the prices do fluctuate very frequently. So um, that is something you want to stay on top of if you are interested in values of Pokemon cards um, because they could change in a matter of hours, really. All right, our last four Hidden Fates booster packs for today's Pokemon opening. It's our it's not our last Hidden Fates booster packs ever. I mean, because obviously we're not going to pull all nine cards by now. Um, so we'll have to continue opening up Hidden Fates, but it is our last huge Hidden Fates opening. So... It's a nice, nice little send-off. It's bittersweet. Coughing. Ekans. Ooh. Team Rocket Vibes. Metapod. Sabrina Suggestion. Energy. And a Jesse and James. Oh, code card right there for that one. One card. One card. I, I'm still staying positive. I'm not going to give up on staying positive. Even after today's video, I, I will continue to stay positive because that's what it's all about. you got to stay positive. It's key in life when it really comes to anything. Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Scyther, Reverse Hello Scyther, and a Mewtwo GX, another code card. Did I give you that code card as well? I don't know at this point. My brain's gone crazy. We got two booster packs left, and we're trying to pull at least one of the nine cards. One. That's all I'm asking for is just one. It can be anything. It can be a hiker. It can be the Foundation employee. The Shiny Electrode? Anything? Anything? Psyduck. I feel like I'm in an empty hallway and I'm just saying anything and it's just echoing. And it's just echoing. Energy. Koga's Trap. Brock's Grit. Misty's Determination. Energy. And a Kangaskhan. Code card. 
Last one, Breaking Family, if you have not hit the thumbs up by now, please do so. Give us some good luck in this last booster pack. Anything? 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 All right, here we go. Last one. We got a Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Energy, Brock's Gem, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Code Card, and Bottom Card is a Clefable. That's a rare. And we got an Alolan Vulpix, shiny Alolan Vulpix. We pulled a lot of Pokemon cards today, a lot of good pulls. I mean, look at this right here. Out of 37 booster packs, we've gotten all of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 pulls. That right there is a victory all in its own. As always, Breaking Family, thanks for watching the channel and taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people all around this world. I truly mean that. And I will see all of you, all of you in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.